let's make some delicious scrumptious raspberry rolls you all seem to love my boneless chocolate chip cookies so here's another recipe these are vegan you can also make them non-vegan if you choose to first we're basically just going to mix all of the wet ingredients in one bowl and all of the dry ingredients in another bowl to get started with the wet ingredients, you first want to activate the yeast. You do this by combining one package of dry active yeast with one tablespoon of brown sugar and one fourth cup of warm water. Allow it to sit for 10 minutes. Take another bowl for the dry ingredients. Combine three cups, one fourth of flour. Sprinkle some salt. Going back to our wet ingredients, you want one cup, one fourth of almond milk, six tablespoons of butter, and then combine that with the other wet ingredients that has the yeast once the 10 minutes are up. This is the part where you can add a tincture if you want to infuse the rolls. Now mix your wet ingredients with your dry ingredients. Knead the dough for approximately three minutes. You're going to cover the dough and let it sit for one hour. During this time, we can make the icing for the rolls. Combine two cups of powdered sugar, one fourth cup maple syrup, one teaspoon vanilla extract, and two to three tablespoons of milk of your choice. Set the glaze aside and let's mash up our raspberries. This is for the filling. After an hour has passed, you can now use your dough. You want to check to make sure it's not too sticky. If it is, just sprinkle a little bit more flour on top of it. Clean your work area and sprinkle a little flour over it. Using a rolling pin or your hands, you want to make a big rectangle as you will see. It doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that it's a rectangle so we can roll it up. It should look something like this. And keep in mind for this entire recipe, you're only using melted butter. Take a little bit of melted butter, about two tablespoons or whatever you desire, kind of guessed here, and you want to add your mashed up raspberries. I believed I used one whole package of raspberries, but it's really whatever you desire. Sprinkle in some brown sugar and some cinnamon so that it's sweet. Now you're going to start to roll up your big rectangle. This will be messy. It doesn't have to be perfect. Just do exactly as I am doing. Might squirt out a little bit of raspberry. Don't worry, just clean it up after. Once it's all rolled up, you kind of want to seal it closed. Closed. You can use some melted butter and also pinch the dough closed. This is going to make eight cinnamon rolls. First, cut your log in half, cut it in half again, and then again until you have eight pieces. I'm using a nine by nine pan, it's only going to fit four rolls at a time. Make sure that you preheat your oven to 350 degrees. Cover your rolls once again. You're going to let them sit for another 30 minutes. You will see why because the yeast is going to make them rise once again. You can add more mashed raspberries berries if you had any extra. After the 30 minutes have passed, these are now ready to bake. Bake them for about 20 minutes. Just make sure that you check them to make sure that the toothpick comes out clean. This is what they will look like before you glaze them. Then all you need to do is add your glaze. Look at how beautiful these are. They are so easy to make. I really hope that you enjoyed this recipe. Delicious, scrumptious, homemade raspberry rolls.